However many millions of Americans are looking at the past election and they don't believe the result, the ultimate goal here is for them to understand how the process actually works and the fact that there is one paper ballot for every vote cast in all of the territories and states that we've uh, serviced through election officials and that the count actually was correct. That's the ultimate goal. Rudy Giuliani likely won't be the last person sued by Dominion voting systems, but the former president's lawyer is looking at a $1.3 billion lawsuit. Why? Saying this. This Dominion company is a radical left company. These crooked Dominion machines. They cheated with the machines. Then a Venezuelan company countered our votes. The CEO of Dominion Voting Systems, John Poulos, joins us now in an exclusive interview. Welcome to Primetime. Thank you for taking the opportunity. Thanks, Chris. Nice to be here. Why sue? Uh, we have no choice. Uh, disinformation in elections has, is a huge problem. And uh, it, we, we've, what we are seeing right now, I don't think we've ever seen before, um, and it's affecting certainly our good name, um, and, it's, and, and it's raising serious doubts in electors' minds across the country. Uh, and frankly, it's the only avenue that we have um, to, to rectify the situation. The $1.3 billion, you say it's ruining your good name. Have you lost any contracts? Uh, the 1300000000 billion, there's certainly a lot of questions on that. So there is no money, Chris, that can even begin to make up for the damage and reputation uh, that our company and the customers, the election officials that have used our technology to count ballots. And um, it, it, the actual calculation of the one three billion billion is a, is a legal calculation and, and we, will, we will play that out in court. Uh, but if I could trade our reputation back from November 1st and go back before uh, these false accusations were lobbed against us and our employees, I would do that in a heartbeat. So the risks are you give a platform to this again and discovery. Uh, the people on the other side of the ball say, boy, I can't wait to get that Pulos and the other people under oath and bring up all the shady things they did for Biden and with their machines. You have no fear of any type of exposure. Well, let me tell you something, Chris. Our space is so highly regulated. All of our source code, all of our pieces of technology are submitted to federal and state authorities for independent testing. They have all our equipment. We don't actually run elections. We supply technology for election officials to help voters vote and to, and to help count paper ballots. And when there is any kind of uh, indecision or concern regarding the scrutiny of the election, uh, election officials hand count all of the paper ballots. They either do it in audits or they do a full recount, as was the case in the state of Georgia. Do you believe that your machines made mistakes? No, absolutely not. Uh, and, and if you look at the case of Georgia, Chris, five million ballots were counted three times, one of which was done by hand, something our detractors have actually claimed never happened. The and, you know, because you saw Rudy's response, but you knew what it was going to be. I get to investigate the history, the finances, the practices. Are you doing him a favor? Um. I, I don't care. Uh, is, this is something that needs to be done. So our history uh, is an open book. Uh, it's something that we have testified uh, to various authorities on, including Congress, and uh, we welcome it. Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell named in the suit. Why just them? Uh, it's, we are looking at every bad faith actor that has deliberately created and propagated a falsehood about Dominion and, and, and the processes that we were involved in. 
Um, so our legal team is looking at, frankly, everyone, and we're not ruling anybody out. Um, this is just the second suit uh, that we have filed. If you lose, uh, if not if you lose, if you win, would the ultimate reward be to have Rudy Giuliani or anybody who's named in the suit say, we were wrong, there is nothing that we could show to prove what we alleged against Dominion and therefore against the election. Is that the ultimate goal? Well, we already have that. Uh, the evidence uh, Not that from them. he has touted, the evidence, he hasn't released any evidence to the claims that he is saying. And, and frankly, if you look at um, the claims that he is willing to make outside the courtroom, they're different than the claims he's willing to make inside the courtroom. Um, but no, Chris, the ultimate goal here is for however many millions of Americans are looking at the past election and they don't believe the result, the ultimate goal here is for them to understand how the process actually works and the fact that there is one paper ballot for every vote cast in all of the territories and states that we've uh, serviced through election officials and that the count actually was correct. That's the ultimate goal. I'm with you. That's why I'm saying you're probably never going to be able to extract that kind of dollar amount, no matter how uh, big a win you get. But if you can get any of the Trumpers to admit that they were wrong and the election was legit, you would be doing some service to the democracy in light of the facts because 